If you guys want any cheap MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes, make sure you go over to G2A.com and use discount code B87 to get 3% off your total order. Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of the Legit Road to Glory, the proper road to glory where we go and get coins through playing seasons and not open packs or anything else like that. But it has come to my attention that not a lot of you guys are enjoying this series anymore. A lot of things aren't for people's taste and it's the same for me as well. Um, and I will discuss that later on in the video. So... We finished off the Serie A team today with a purchase of Candreva, Ashley Cole and Torres. Three players to complete the start 11 of the fresh Serie A team. In preparation as well for the fresh start to Division. And it is Division 5 in now, so basically halfway there. With that said, we have... Not a bad record. It's not a bad record, but it's not a good record. It could be perfect, but it isn't. And a lot of people are saying I'm not playing good because I'm not playing with expensive teams. But as you do know... I don't rock with expensive teams. Um, a standard team I rock with costs 30,000 coins. And it is probably something I would have aimed to have brought in on this series. But, anyway, if you can try and smash over 3,000 likes, guys, that'd be brilliant. This is a team as it looks. De Guzman, El Sharari, Candreva, De Jong, um, Ashley Cole, Caceres, Ogbonna, and De Siglio, and uh, Buffon as well. A very tidy team with two godly strikers. Um, Torres, it'll be the first time of using him, actually, since I did my first squad builder on Ultimate Team 15. Which was a long time ago. But he felt good then. But obviously the chip game changes. Your opponents change. And uh, hopefully he will be as good as he was then. And obviously he was your suggestion. So that's why he got put in there. Palacio's partner. I know Palacio's good. When I need him to step up, he'll step up. Um, but I need that standout uh, striker. I did go for Ibarbo as you saw in the trade pile. But unfortunately did not come to any avail. So, first game of Division 5. We come up against a godly fucking Bundesliga team. With... Um, with Cruz in there as well, which does mess up the chemistry a little bit to Alaba just because he plays for Real Madrid now. Um, but it started off well. We were linking up well with Candreva um, down the wings for the first 20 minutes as well. And uh, then we actually got a bit of luck as Candreva kept on running and uh, does unluckily get saved by the keeper. But as I said, Palacio is there to tap it in as that is the type of player he is as one of them standout players. With that said, in this World to Glory now, we don't really have an aim. So you guys can let me know in the comment section below what aim we can go for um, in the future and uh, whether we play this team for a, a full division, change the team at the end or whatnot. Sounds good to me, but it's what you guys want and that's what I do want to know. Absolute fucking screamer of a goal from Torres there. His first goal for the club and... Um, it was brilliant. I don't know why I went for it with Torres. It was just thought I would go for it. And it actually did sink in. But from kick-off, some terrible defending by me. I won't even uh, I won't even say it was a good goal. Just look at the state of this defending. It was horrendous. And uh, Gertz is able to break on through and uh, completely break my ankles of my defenders and put it in to make it 2-2. Now, I was dominating this game, not going to lie. And I actually decided to step it up a lot now. And uh, straight from kick-off for me as well. Link up between Torres um, and Palacio and Torres is able to break the ankles of his defenders for a change and put it into the back of the net, making it 3-2. Class goal, class game, and uh, a nice fresh start for the Serie A team as well. We did put the nail in the coffin in the 61st minute when El Sharari picked up the ball, kept on running straight through, got very lucky, and is able just to tap it underneath the keeper to make it 4-2. This, obviously, is our first win of Division 5, and we do walk away with 547 coins. But, with that... There's a lot of bugs. There's a lot of fucking bugs on FIFA at the moment. Whether it be squad builders, where you're trying to build a squad that kicks out of ultimate team, doesn't remember the squad builder. Um, coming up against concept squads, coming up with injuries, uh, injuries, contracts run out and whatnot. Uh, and it seems to be happening to me quite a lot. Not on this account yet, but you will see something in a moment which starts it with me and it's annoying. And it's one of the reasons why you will find out at the end of the video. So... With that, we have one win um, and three points. We do come up against this weird-looking team. It's not a weird-looking team. It's actually a nice-looking team. But that striker is someone I've never heard of. And uh, to be honest, I looked at him, didn't think that much of him. But he actually come back to haunt me. Uh, Torres linking up with De Guzman. And in the 10th minute, we do put away the first goal, making it 1-0. And uh, I genuinely thought I would be walking away with this game quite early on as I was dominating, taking a lot of shots. But he started uh, getting used to his striker. Even though we were scoring goals, some very shit goals, as you can see, they have an own goal. Um, we do actually get him time to warm up with his striker. Someone I've never heard of. Maybe you guys have seen him on YouTube with, with some other youtubers but i have never seen him before uh and maybe it's someone i do look into but 
Um, he does pick up the ball there at Zavos. Is that his name? Zavos? Never even heard of him. But he does score a cracking volley there to make it 2-1. And I knew he was going to be dangerous from then on out. So goals was my only option. Linking it with the husband again. Hits the post. Some scrappy bit of defending. And uh, a scrappy bit of goalkeeping as well. And somehow the ball does bounce back for a half volley into the bottom corner to make it 3-1 in the 30th minute. But... As always, when I do these uh, videos, it never stops there. It's either going to be a lot more goals for me or a lot more goals for him. And it's actually Torres who uh, sells the dribble around the area and does make it 4-1. You would think that is game safe. How incorrect was I? In the 53rd minute, picks up the ball. Some terrible defending there. And that striker just runs on straight through. Zardes, is that his name? Um, even though there was a bit of lag in, in that part of the goal he did score, but... A goal's a goal in the season, you don't complain. He then scores a nice whipped in corner there with Donovan getting on his head to make it 4-3. And at that point, I decided to shut up shop. Did I shut up shop correctly? Did I fuck? Because when I try to defend and hold the ball for a little bit, I always fail. And it's actually his striker who's involved again. Over the top through ball from him, and he does head it over our goalkeeper to make it 4-4 in the 83rd minute. So I've given up a free goal lead, and he does manage to uh, get it. But we do manage to take the lead again in the 86th minute. Cracking shot from the husband um, to make it that his hat-trick as well in his first, second game for us now. Um... And I thought I'd won it. I generally thought I'd won it. But we get sold by his striker again. He's definitely someone I'm going to be looking at in the future. And he makes it 5-5 in the 90th minute. Game over. Draw. But look at this. 530 coins won from that game. Awesome amount of coins. A draw's a draw. It's not a loss. It's one point. Maybe one point which could take us further up the seasons. But after getting out of this and going to check the record, it never registered. We never got the coins. We never even... Um, Never even got the draw on, on the sheet either, which is very annoying. And I would advise you guys, if you are playing on Xbox, to avoid seasons until it is fixed. Obviously, if you play on PlayStation 4, which I don't, um, it's completely fucked at the moment. And you would have seen on Twitter by a numerous amount of YouTubers uh, how bad it actually is. So our third and final game of this episode is Aguero, Sturridge, Rooney, Eriksen and Walcott as the attacking style players. Some very dangerous ones at that. But a nice through ball to Torres. Went for a first time shot and he does actually tap it in on the rebound making it 1-0 in 10th minute. Awesome start. Torres on the score sheet and uh, he's definitely becoming one of my favourite strikers of the series so far. Um, even though we've only played two, two or three games with him which is quite nice. But... We kept getting sold with his through ball, which kept fucking working as well. We're on the attack quite a lot, and he kept doing this long through ball to either Sturridge or Sergio Aguero, and he kept getting a chance from it, even though we were dominating the match. We then actually do take the lead. Torres uh, running on straight through, very lucky, and just powers it underneath the keeper to make it 2-1 in the 54th minute. Basically an instant reply, and I was happy with that. Um... But it was just a case of holding the game out now, which wasn't going to happen. Uh, we do go for a free kick, completely failed, and watch this for a long through ball straight to Sergio Aguero, who's running at my goalkeeper. And I know how good Sergio is, not going to save it, and he does actually score, even though the keeper did try to save it, didn't do it very well, um, and he does make it 2-2. He then, in the 90th minute, gets a penalty. Rooney runs into my defender, and obviously Sergio steps up, scores the winning goal, you would think. But no... That look where in the 90th minute if someone scores against me, I'm able to get an instant reply. It's actually Palacio being very, very quiet for me, but he does tap it underneath the keeper. Makes it 3-3. Free -free. In, um, in this episode, we actually won uh, one game and drew two, even though only one of the draws did count. So, as you can tell, anyway, guys, this series is coming to an end. Or, I'm putting it on hold. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because not a lot of people are interested in this style of Road to Glory. Even though it was the most requested one, everyone did enjoy doing, uh, enjoying it at the start, seeing how I built up my Road to Glory. But I have decided to stop it. Um, to bring back a series which you all love and that series will be back tomorrow uh, at this time uh, so you guys can check it out as well it is the Road to Glory Wager Showdowns we are back um, we're doing wages we're going to see how good we are on the wager scene and hopefully you guys support that a lot more than uh, the, the new in well not support it enjoy it a lot more than you did this one if you never unfortunately guys if you did enjoy it I can put it on hold I can bring it back another time uh, but the Road to Glory Wager Showdowns will be back as of tomorrow and hopefully we can go from a silver team to an awesome goal team within a matter of weeks so until next time guys see you all later drop a like rating subscribe comment and until then bye bye